Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to optimize the settings and the performance of Kingdom Deliverance 2. So, uh, the first step of the operation uh, would be checking if your PC passes the minimum requirements of the game itself. So, uh, if your PC passes the recommended uh, requirements everything will be okay even on the highest setting uh, if you don't want to uh, see uh, if the parts match you can also use the will it run uh, website you will have to download the other program and it will show you if the game uh, will run on your PC and if not it will show you what to uh, what well, you have to upgrade the second thing uh, the most important thing uh, I, I believe would be seeing if your uh, GPU driver is up to date I have a, a Radeon graphics card AMD so uh, I have to uh, use the AMD adrenaline uh, software in this box you will have the download button if you don't have the up-to-date uh, driver so the the info will be in this box here for Nvidia users uh, you have to download the Nvidia app and the process will be uh, really similar really easy same as the AMD adrenaline software these two apps makes the driver updating really easy and the dr having uh, driver up to date is the most important thing while uh, playing any games because it affects performance really much uh, okay so we shall now open the game and change the settings in the game itself so i'll open the game now Okay, so our game is uh, running and now from the uh, this level, from the menu, main menu level or in the game, I would recommend changing the settings from the uh, menu level because you won't have to restart the game, I believe. So we press settings, graphics settings and first adjust the resolution depending on your preference and your components. I'll leave it at full HD to have a pretty looking game and also not to sweat my PC too much. Window mode, this is preference. Uh, we'll get to the, that later. VSync, this is really important. Uh, if you turn it on, you won't see image, uh, sorry, frame tearing, but this will affect performance. Uh, significantly, significantly affect performance. FOV, this is a pretty much uh, kind of important setting. I will set it at 80 or 90. I would recommend uh, you to do the same because this will affect your field of view and uh, because of that will affect performance because your PC will have to uh, generate a bigger image. Resolution scaling for uh, AMD users, you, have, you will have FSR and for NVIDIA users, here will be DLSS. If you have a bit a mid to high end PC, I would recommend setting the, uh, the mode to quality or balanced. If you have a bit of a lower end, a lower end, uh, lower end PC, I would recommend setting it to performance mode. Sharpness, this is your preference. I would recommend uh, putting it like that. I like it that way, it's your preference. 
uh, for DLSS users, these modes will be exactly the same, uh, except the native A because this doesn't uh, have a connection to the FSR. This upscaling technology works pretty, pretty well in Kingdom Come Deliverance too, uh, from what I was testing. I would say that quality, because uh, I have a mid to high end uh, range PC and this setting works pretty well for me. These uh, two settings, Motion Blur and NinDOF, these are preference. I personally don't like Motion Blur, so I turn it off. Okay, so we save the changes. Now we go to the advanced graphic settings. Here, the, uh, I'll explain uh, the settings as we go. The object quality uh, doesn't really matter uh, on the mid to high end PCs. Uh, even on the low end PCs, it will work well on high. Uh, particles, uh, this doesn't really affect performance on most of the setups, maybe on the low end or lower end, I'll leave it on high. Lightning, this is a major, major um, performance increase if you lower the setting. I will leave it on medium as my PC is not that bad. Uh, experimented, uh, if your PC is a bit on the lower end, I would leave it on low to medium. I'll leave it on medium because uh, I don't see the, the difference and I don't mind some extra FPS. Global illumination, I'll leave it on high. This affects the lighting from the sun and the moon in the game itself. This lightning is from like the artificial sources like, uh, you know, torches and stuff like that. Post-process quality, this doesn't really affect performance. Uh, I'll leave it on high because uh, it also uh, affects the occlusion of the screen. Shader quality. This kind of affect performance, uh, I didn't see a major uh, visual difference between high and medium and the FPS stayed the same so I leave it on medium. Uh, I think this will affect performance on the lower ends. So leave it on medium or high and on the low ends leave it on medium. Shadows, leave it on low. On the low end PC, a low end PC is leave it on low. I'll leave it on medium. Like I said, my PC is not that bad. Textures, this setting solely depends on your VRAM uh, in your PC. Uh, if you have eight gigabytes plus of VRAM, leave it on high on ultra because uh, it will work uh, perfectly in this setting. If you have below eight gigabytes, uh, like, I don't know, 6, 4, leave it on low or medium. Volumetric effects detail. These are uh, clouds, fog, stuff like that. Uh, things, you know, like clouds, fog. Leave it on medium or low because this setting really affects performance. The generation of clouds and the uh, fog uh, is uh, really costly. Vegetation detail, this setting uh, will take up some FPS, so consider leaving it on low or medium. I'll leave it on medium. Character detail, this setting uh, works pretty well on high on my graphics card, which is the RX 6770. 700, I'm sorry. And I would tweak the setting to medium on or low when entering cities and having performance decreases. But for now, I'll leave it on high. Okay, so let's confirm our changes. And let's uh, jump into the game and see the FPS. I'll also turn on the performance overlay in a second. Okay, so we are in the game and I'm going to show FPS so we can see the performance. And as you can see, we have the upscaling set to quality, which uh, makes the edges not that blurry. The games look 
the game look fantastic to my opinion and we have stable 100 fps with the game looking pretty pretty well as you can see even even though we set the shadows to low it doesn't affect the visual quality that much because you don't have to have shadows set to high to for the game to look well if we would tweak the volumetric setting and lighting setting the game would probably run at 120 fps but i won't because uh, i don't mind having 100 so if you enjoyed this video if you considered helpful leave a like subscribe and maybe leave a comment thanks for watching